Big news this morning with Premier's Hawthorne pulling off a trade steal, luring St Kilda Ruckman Ben McAvoy to the club, sending midfielder Shane Savage and pick 17 to the Saints. The 24-year-old is considered one of the best young Ruckman in the league and many people have been taken aback by St Kilda's decision to let him leave. McAvoy will replace the retiring Max Bailey as Hawthorne's number one Ruckman in 2014. We will have more on this story a little later. North Melbourne legend Brady Rawlings is being targeted by new West Coast Eagles coach Adam Simpson to be the first addition to his coaching panel. The pair played together at the Roos for seven years and Rawlings currently works at Arden Street as North Melbourne's senior recruiter and induction coach. Rawlings could be joined on the coaching staff by former Fremantle coach Mark Harvey, that's right, former Frio coach, who's in Perth interviewing for a senior assistant's role. Now talk of a max player exodus from Brisbane could be wide of the mark with the Lions playing hardball on any potential trade deal. The Lions are balking at the offer of a third round draft pick from West Coast for Elliot Yo, while they're holding out for a big offer for want away midfielder Sam Doherty. We'll have more on that story later when we speak to Jackie Reid. And finally, Dale Thomas is officially a blue but might have to brace for an unpleasant reaction from the Collingwood faithful from now on. The 157 game veteran was taken at pick two way back in 2005 and says he's looking forward to playing alongside Blues captain Mark Murphy and dual Brownlow medalist Chris Judd. No footy club around Australia produces more AFL players than the East Fremantle Football Club. Brownlow medalist Simon Black and Eagles veteran Daniel Kerr are the cream of the crop of 33 former Sharks juniors scattered throughout the AFL. Jonathan Marsh and Jared Jansen have been nominated to attend the National Draft Talent Combine, hoping to impress AFL scouts. Yeah, no, it's a great achievement, um, one I'm really proud of, so just really looking forward to going to represent the East from Manor over there. In total, four Sharks youngsters will attend the Combine, with Richard Bourne and Patrick Cripps also invited to the 100 strong camp. Yeah, love it. Um, you know, I guess you've got to hold up that name, but there's not really any pressure coming from the club or anything. They're just good, wanting you to excel. So, nah, it's still really nice that we get to show what East Fremantle can give. 2013 is the 20th year that the AFL has held a talent combine. It gives clubs the chance to see the players' skills and their character firsthand. All 19 of WA's attendees are considered chances to be drafted. Both Jansen and Marsh have finals football to look forward to with the Sharks, but are sure to have one eye on what the future may bring. Drew Jones, ECU News. 2013 has been Fremantle's most successful season ever, and there's a real buzz around town. That will only increase when the Dockers play their home final in the next couple of weeks. The West Coast Eagles coach John Worsfold has admitted he could coach at another club if he leaves the Eagles. Worsfold's contract is set to expire at the end of the season, but he's keen to stay on with the club. Claire Thompson has more. Less than 24 hours after sacking club legend Michael Voss, the Brisbane Lions have announced former Sydney Swans coach Paul Roos as its number one target. Voss was told yesterday his services were no longer required at a club where he won three premierships but in typical Voss fashion, he handled the news with class. To, to thank the club for the time I've had here. Um, I've been at this football club since I've been uh, 16 years of age. Former Fremantle coach Mark Harvey will take control for the rest of the season while the Lions make Paul Roos an offer he can't refuse. While the Australian Test team is struggling in England, Cricket Australia is confident young Perth hopefuls will still want to give the game a go. So fast bowler Mitchell Johnson headed to the northern suburbs to encourage kids to register for state junior cricket. Anya Ryan was there. Take a close look Dockers fans, you could be seeing Ryan Lester Smith in purple next year. 43 goals in 2013, enough to convince Fremantle he's worth the punt following years of injury heartache. And clearly his development there through 2013 was, was outstanding. Uh, kicked some crunch goals in some big games, uh, Foxtel Cup. So look, he's had, a, he's had an outstanding year. Lester Smith attended the state draft combine on Sunday. He was forced to look on from the sides as scouts watched fellow waffle players run themselves ragged. The Dockers have nominated the young Ford as a father-son rookie selection. This means Lester Smith will be a Docker unless another AFL team decides he's worth the punt on their senior list. Dad played uh, 154 games for Eastern Mandel, so I come under the father-son rule there. And 
So I'm pretty lucky that lucky he was a good footballer. Ryan's father, Neil, is assistant coach at the Sharks and even has his own locker. If the Dockers do draft Lester Smith, he'll be well on the way to emulating, if not bettering, his father's achievements. The Dockers hopeful the son of a gun can step up to the next level. He's, he's certainly got the skills and capabilities to play a, a role at AFL level, I would have thought. The AFL rookie draft is on November 27. Drew Jones, ECU News.